So I'm all back in the bed and I'm ready to be wheeled down to um, the CT room um, where they brutalized me last night and completely screwed up um, my hips, my legs, my knee to where I can't even walk and they're all swollen. So now we have to go back in with the CT and see if there was any damage done by what happened to me last night. And these people expect me to go down there without a person of authority or without a doctor standing there and watching me while the two CT techs work on me. They are insane. I said, absolutely not. I want somebody standing there the entire time. They don't have to be in the room, but they can be in the hallway with the door open and watch what's going on. That is what I want. And there is absolutely no way. And I said, you know what? If you had a patient that suffered the brutalization that I did last night by that C CT team, and it may be different people today, okay, but if the CT team last night was trained so poorly, what's going to lead me to believe that this team isn't trained just as poorly or will do the same? So I want someone in observation as to what's going to go on when I'm down there because I'm not going down there alone on my own ever again. And I said, and if you had a patient that would be willing to do that, you better take them over to your insane ward and lock them in for 72 hours. That is crazy, crazy. It's absolutely they're sending me back to the people who brutalized me, slammed me around to the point now where I can't even use my legs. I can't lift them up. I can't walk. Um, my, my body, my knee and, the, and my arms were so slammed that now I can't push myself up from the bed or a chair like I used to be able to on my own, grab the walker and then walk. I mean, I wasn't running around the show ring, but I was able to do a normal walk where I would pick up my foot and pick up the next one, pick up the next one and go from this end of the room to that end of the room, you know, maybe go over to the potty over there, back up, put my hands down, sit myself up, bring myself back up. I mean, by law, somebody has to be here and observing me. Sure. I don't have a problem with that, but I used to be able to do all that. I can't do any of it anymore. Nothing. It takes three people now to lift me up. Um, now, once I get to the chair and I put my arms back, gravity, I'm able to slowly put myself back down. But if these people think I'm going back down to that CT room, um, I guess the scene of the crime, if you will, without somebody in authority watching what's going on, they are insane. And I'm telling you, after this whole ordeal over the past nine or 10 days, I'm finding that there are a lot of just crazy crazy people in the world. I mean, just no common sense. It's like they might have read something in a book. They might have memorized something in a class, but they have no common sense as to what reality is. Wow, that's scary. I mean, I would expect that from fake news. But there it's a fine line between people who truly are evil and insane you know, and maybe even believe the crap they report or just people who just want to make money and do clickbait and just lie because it gets more audience attention when they say horrible things as opposed to just normal things. So I, I don't know. I, I don't know. The whole, the, whole, the whole world's gone batshit crazy. That's all I know. The whole world's gone batshit crazy. And this is a really, really, really nice hospital. It was just built. This is a zillion dollar complex. It's lovely in here. The staff couldn't be nicer. I ring the bell, boom, right away. You know, they're in here to help out. But what happened to me in that CT room last night was completely inappropriate, beyond inappropriate. It was dangerous. It was medically criminal. And I've been asking since six o'clock this morning to have some kind of a manager or a hospital administrator you know, to come in and take a written statement as to what happened to me last night so I can sign it and put in an official complaint. So it's uh, 20 after one, nothing, nothing. I haven't seen anybody. I haven't seen anybody. So I don't know if I can do this. So I just told him, I said, I'm not going down there without somebody in charge watching what's going on. <laughs> no freaking way. I'm going to flip this around. I don't know 
know that this will let me do it this way. But this, both of these legs used to be like the same. Oh, see, it won't let me. I had hip surgery. So the hip socket, if we know about dogs and the hip pictures that we always look like. So both of these hip sockets were completely replaced. Now, both of these legs after surgery were completely the same size. And this one does hurt now and is swollen, but this one over here is huge and enormously swollen, swollen, which has never, it's never looked like that since the first day of my surgery. And that's because of the way that the, um, the two CT people last night threw me around and slammed me down on steel tables. Hell, the one guy threw me, threw me, literally, threw me through the air and my body slammed down on a three by two foot by one inch thick, heavy piece of steel. And I just, I went rack and I felt this whole thing in my body. Hey, there we go. Yes, I, I want a CT scan. Right. I will not go back into that room without somebody observing. Why would I go back in there after what they did to me last night? I want somebody observing. Just I just want somebody in the hallway watching what they're doing to me. That's what I want. Does it matter? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. I it how do I know, okay, that the um that the way I was handled last night wasn't as a result of poor training on how to shift patients from one day. I don't know what you're doing with your people, but those people last night were so appropriate, inappropriate. How do I know that these new sets of people have had the right training? I want somebody in observation. God, like, you know, like I'm the stupid criminal here asking for something what I think is fairly, how do I know? I mean, those CT uh, people last night, maybe they've never been trained properly. How to, you know, the old style lifting up the sheets. We've all done it. We've all checked into a hospital. We've all gone into an OR and then there's the operating table. We've all had the movable bed here and we've all had the team in the OR pick us up in the sheet and then move us over to the table beside of us. All of us, every single one of us have had that experience. And I've had it more than most because I've had more surgeries than most. And um, that's certainly what I was expecting. That's not what I got. So how do I know that none of their CT staff has been properly trained to pick up a patient with a double hip surgery that can't get up out of bed walk over there, sit back down and lay back down, you know, on the, on the CT table to get a CT done. You know, somebody has to be able to do that EMT, pick up the sheet, move me over, glide, just glide me off of here and glide me back on. So there's, there's nothing in this situation that would lead me to believe that even if it's a different set of people, that the same thing wouldn't happen again. So, uh, He's gonna have to go get a supervisor because I ain't going out. I ain't going. I ain't going anywhere without somebody watching from outside that room what they're gonna do to me. Uh uh, not in this lifetime. So um, nothing's going on. So I don't want to bore the death out of everybody. I'll go ahead and turn this back on as I'm getting floated down to the first or second floor where CT is. The uh, place is lovely. It's like a museum, uh, beautiful landscaping, great big windows, you know, lots of sunlight. So I'll take you all down on the trip with me. But um, it's not going to ever happen again. That. Now it's just, you know, what's the next thing that's going to happen? So I'll deal with it one day at a time. All right, let me sign off for now, and I'll be back with you in a second. Be back.